just thought I'd show you how you can replace a faulty locking mechanism on a double glazed door. One has gone a bit funny. I took this part the other day. I've got the spare part received, so I'm going to put it in. I'll show you how to do it. Step one is to take the handle off, which is on my door, these two screws here. Okay, handle screws are undone. Now we need to remove the lock, which is held in place by this one screw here. Here's the screw for the lock, take that out, and you can pull the lock out. There you go, the lock comes out. And that's the one side. Now take the door handles off. Remove the screws that hold in this rail so there'll be one either side of the locks and some on the way down at the minute. Don't undo the different screws, these have got a Torx head, these are what hold the locking mechanism to this strip. So just undo the ones that hold the strip in. Okay, okay. So all those screws are out, so I should just now be able to pull the strip out, crush my finger while I'm doing it. There you go, so there's the whole strip out. Okay, empty looking door. Name, measure, either look for the name and model number that might be stamped on it, mine wasn't, or look for the dimensions. So mine one is, is from the centre of the spindle to the face plate, which are mine is 35mm. And the other key measurement is from the centre of that spindle to the centre of the locking mechanism, which on mine was 92mm. So I searched for those, um, so I searched for that, and I found this one on Amazon for 17 quid, and it's the exact same make and model by the look of it. So uh, we'll put that on. First is remove these Torx screws here. Let us come off the back. Screws are out, four of them are mine. Uh, one of them is a different length. Just make sure you make a note of what goes where. And now, the face plate should just come off of the mechanism. There we go. So it looks like the exact same mechanism there. I've just got to make sure that this pin slots into that hole. And on the other end, this pin slots into that hole. And let's put it together. Okay, slight issue when assembling the old lock is 5.5 mil thick. The new one is 6.5. So the slot in my strip is 6 mil. So I'm going to need to file this strip uh, either with a file or a Dremel or whatever. So, right, so I've done some grinding with the Dremel. Now the hole is wide enough and the lock can fit through. I don't know if you'll get these similar issues. Hopefully not. But let's put the screws in and okay, next so that's all screwed on. I'll just put the uh, this bit through so we can test the lock works. Uh, handle down, unlocks, and handle up. Locks fine and all the mechanisms move. Oh. Check that they move. Then we're going to insert it back into the door frame. Hopefully you'll be doing it two-handed. There we go. And replace all these screws you removed earlier and then put your handles on screw that up and then put the lock in and the nut the bolt that holds the lock it's all in place so now so it all seems to work let's just check it works yeah working good Hope that helped. Uh, leave a comment if it was useful to you. Thanks, bye. Peace.